School's out. You're free. But what are you going to do? Lucky for you, we have some ideas to make your summer the most awesome summer yet. School is out. You're not spending all day in school. You don't have any homework to do. So what are you going to do? You need to get out of the house. Go outside and have some fun. Here are some things that you could do to get out of the house. All right. Usually you call up your friends to go play soccer. You're ready for something new. Lucky for you, there's rock climbing. Whether you're in District 7 or France, there are rock climbing walls and natural surfaces that you and your friends can climb on. So it's hot and you're a little bit tired and you don't really feel like doing anything all that physical. We'll go fishing. There are fishing ponds, there are lakes, and there are rivers everywhere. Get yourself a fishing pole and go put a hook in the water. You've always wanted to try it. You've seen it on TV. Well, now's your chance. Go ice skating. Well, in Ho Chi Minh City, it's not exactly ice. It's wax. But it will be the most fun you've ever had on two blades. It's a pretty popular activity around Southeast Asia. It's the rainy season. It's windy. The winds really pick up. And you can buy kites just about everywhere. Go get a kite, get some string, and fly a kite. It's a lot of fun, and it takes some skill. So your family went to Muine for the weekend. You're at the beach, and you remember that there are sand dunes nearby. Well, get your family to go to the dunes, get a sled, and sled down it. It will be the most fun you've ever had on a piece of plastic going down a bunch of sand. Yes, there's some fun things to do inside, but you don't have to be inside alone. Call up your friends, get out your video game council, and play some games. Or there's always online games where you're sitting home alone, but you're still hanging out with your friends. This has to be one of the coolest and most challenging video games I have ever played. Portal came out in 2007, and Portal 2 came out in 2011. It is a cool game where you shoot portals and jump through them and try to escape from a company that's holding you hostage. Are you the kind of person who likes to be the master of everything? Well, Good Game Empire is just for you. You create your empire and the people inside are your subjects. You need to defend them, you need to keep them happy, otherwise they won't work for you. Form alliances, get started, have some fun. Have you ever wanted to be a rock star? Well, with the game Rock Band, you can be. It comes in multiple platforms, and there's over 18 different versions of the game. You can play guitar, bass, drums, and you can even sing. So get the game Rock Band, and you can be a rock star. With some computer games, you can learn while having fun. Generation I Revolution is just that kind of game. Use your math skills, your economic skills, and science skills to uncover mysteries and solve problems. Your assignment is waiting. Have you ever played with Legos? Yeah, you know you have. But did you know you can play as a Lego person on video games? They're released on all the platforms, and there's a bunch of different games. There's Harry Potter, there's Star Wars, there's Indiana Jones and all the superheroes too. No summer is complete without some excellent books. One of my favorite things to do is relax in the backyard in my hammock with a good book. So grab a pillow, grab a snack, and grab an excellent read. Artemis Fowl by Erwin Colfer. This has got to be one of the coolest series books I have ever read. It's fantasy, it's sci-fi, there's fairies, there's dwarves, there's all kinds of things happening. And Artemis, well, he's an evil genius, but you find out he's not so evil after all. 
If you're looking for even more fantasy, pick up The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. This is an epic battle between good and evil that will keep you guessing page after page. Try it out. You'll love it. One of my favorite books of all time is A Short History of Nearly Everything. But it's an adult book, so I was so happy when this book came out. A really short history of nearly everything, which is a kid's version of the exact same book by Bill Bryson. Check it out. So, you've seen the Lord of the Rings movies, and you know The Hobbit is coming out soon. Well, before it comes out, get your hands on that book. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien is an adventure tale like none other, and if you haven't read it, you don't know the true beginning to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Skellig, written by David Allman, was published in 1998. It's about a kid named Michael who moves into a house. The house is all tore up, and his parents try to fix it up. But his sister's born, premature and really, really sick. And then the adventure begins. So there you go. There are some things that you can do to get outside this summer and use your body and use your brains. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, don't forget the SSIS Hustlers and have some balance in your life. Also, have a happy summer.